I'm a cowboy I'm a steel horse I ride Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at trailer ownership. So I am in my, well, this is my profile that I never use. So you can see here I've got like two bazillion dollars because I was using it for multiplayer and the multiplayer mod screwed up my money, which means I can own whatever I want, whatever I want. Um... You see here we've got our new message. From now on, you can purchase your own trailers and upgrades or paint them to match your truck. So, your trailers can be stored in your chosen garage and they can be used by your drivers to increase profits, to manage your trailers, to increase profits. So, th this did not happen in Euro Truck Simulator. It did not give us a message. To manage your trailers, use the trailer manager. So, as you can see here, just like Euro Truck Simulator, this is grayed out when you first get in because you don't own any trailers, so you can't use the trailer manager. Um, you can do trailer upgrades, though, which is weird because we don't... Trailer... Level 21. I don't know... Um, Oh, Chrome Box Cooler. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know that I have any... If I'm high enough level. I should be high enough letter, level. Oh, no. This is different. I don't remember seeing these in... In Euro Truck Simulator, but... And I'm super high level in Euro Truck Simulator. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is pretty much the same... Level 19. Okay, so this just shows you level 21, the different things that you can get. We are high enough level to get all of these things. So... Uh, this does include some different options I'm seeing than the ETS-2 one did, but that doesn't really mean anything because, once again, this is beta, so they're they're changing these things. <laughs> so it's not going to stay the same. So let's go ahead and do the trailer dealer. Ooh, now that's cool. These are different. And in America, you can use the... Oh, look at a triple drain. <gasps> You can use uh, these trailers anywhere you want, so you don't ha you're not stuck to doing like singles everywhere, except for you know when you want to really do it. That's <laughs> a triple train, <laughs> chilled goods, and they carry frozen chill frozen chilled goods, general dry goods, and then we have uh, a double flatbed. I've never seen a double flatbed to be honest with you here in America. I've I'm sure they've done it, but I've never seen one myself personally. I've only ever seen doubles that are, are like this. We don't have doubles like this either. We have usually two of these put together. We don't have like a really long and a really short. That's a European thing. So, well, hey, Goosey. Once again, some of the things are a little bit lost in translation between Germany and America, but they're trying to make them you know, look the same. Now, uh, when you go into the configurator, you can get all these options. You can pick the cheapest trailer. No, I don't want to purchase that. X. I want to go to customize configuration. And we can, you know, do doubles, triples. So, yeah, see this? Single, double, Rocky Mountain, double. Never seen any trailers like this in my life. Never seen a triple train like that. Maybe in Australia, not in America. So, I don't know. But it's pretty cool that you can do it anyway. I mean, that's I, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. <laughs> And then we can get uh, flatbed. We can make them aluminum. See that? We can also change it over to a curtain cider. So now we're to the regular box truck style. And you can have singles, doubles, triples. Yeah. Then you can get into here and change the axle, ty the, the axle type. Yep. <laughs> Boop. This would be... Oh, and by the way, somebody told me, and I didn't know this, but on American trucks, these bogies can travel back and forth. On a lot of trucks, they're adjustable. So when you're loading the truck, you push them all the way back um, for stability as the you know the forklift or whatever loads onto the truck. It doesn't it will keep it from tipping backwards. And then once the truck is ready to roll, they move these into the middle a little bit more to balance out the load. Did not know that, but I just found that out the other day from a trucker. Um so 45 foot spread axle. You don't see those very often, but you do see them. Usually the, uh, 
I mean, sometimes I've seen tag lift trucks before, but not, I don't know. This is, a lot of this is like kind of European stuff. That would be normal. Uh, never seen a truck like that here. But doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I've just never seen it. Violet, turn that off. And uh, I've seen them like this maybe in Michigan. Once again, we really... We don't have trucks that have triple. I think it gets against the law, actually. Except for in, like, Michigan. <laughs> Uh, to have more than two axles, so uh, these tra these tractors are not allowed. So you almost never see them. We really don't ever have triple wheel trailers unless it's some special load. So anyway, um, I want to see. Now, what's interesting is I don't have any regular solid side. These are all curtain side trailers. Um, am I not high enough level? Maybe I should be high enough level to get them. But let's take a look. We're gonna hop back out to the configurator. Yeah, well, yeah, we cancel all the modifications. So, uh, oh, we have a dry van. Okay, so that's a different type. So, purchase. We're gonna customize the configuration of this dry goods van. You can mount and double it. S T A A double. That's we see. This is the kind of truck that we see frequently. Mostly FedEx and UPS are using these um, here in Ohio. Not, there are restrictions on doubles and triples. Like most of our regular freeways do not allow doubles and triples here in Ohio. We're, uh, the Turnpike allows them though. So I think they're not doing any restrictions. So we have dry van, we have an insulated van, and a reefer. And of course that means that you have this on the front, so you can use it for refrigerated frozen goods. Now the downside with this game, and somebody pointed this out on my on my Facebook page. In real life, you can still use this trailer as a dry goods trailer. You just turn the refrigerator off. In the game, though, this will make it so that you're only ever carrying frozen loads. So just be aware of that. Um, once again, got STA double pup. If I change this to a, if we go back here and go to single, there's probably a lot more options available. Yeah, so we can do that. 45 foot, 48 foot, 53 foot. Once again, you never see triple wheels. You just don't. So this would be probably the closest to reality that you're going to have. That is a long box trailer. <laughs> um, and then you can paint them. Boop. Oh, wow. They got a lot more paint jobs now. Uh, this might be something that, you know, with ETS, they, they uh, let's put my truck in here and see what we've got going on. <laughs> I don't even have to do much painting for this one. Look at that. It's close. Um, so we can paint the, the box truck, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I like that. <laughs> let's do, let's get out. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. That changes everything. I want to do a triple trailer just, just to do it. Uh, I do think, what does my paint scheme look like? I've got straight lines. So I, would this match it the best? Mm, yeah, that pretty much... That could work too. So if we change these colors, we're gonna use our we're gonna use our preset for the white. This preset's gonna be our darker blue. This preset's gonna be our lighter blue. Ooh, yeah. And then this was this should be our Do I not have my dark blue as a preset? What was I thinking? It's even darker than that. Into the midnight blue, but I think I want to reverse this. Oh, this is so. This could go on forever. I could be. I could literally. I could literally get lost in doing this. This is that blue looks a little different than my truck, so I probably need to just go in and save the presets. Uh, let's see. That's. <laughs> but you can see the potential. You know, I'm it's not. It's not. Gonna, I'm not going to make it perfect right now because for video's sake. But you can see here. How much fun this could be. The potential is endless for fun. Um, we've got three colors on the truck and there's four colors on the trailer. That's the problem. This one is definitely not a right blue. So we're going to try to do like a... That does not work. <laughs> Sorry, I get... I totally... This is what happens. I get... 
I could spend all day painting my truck. I could. I could. We're not going to. Uh, we're just going to leave it. That looks good. It's fine. Good enough. But you can see now you can start company logoing things, and that's really cool. We can make a, tra a trailer that matches, like a trailer system that matches our truck. Uh, for those of you that own a lot of garages and a lot of trucks, this is almost a, a little bit of a logistical nightmare. Um, you can have a wind deflector. That's cool. Each one can have it. That's funny. Chromed walls. <laughs> um, each trailer allows you to do that. That's pretty neat. You can have like a, this one has a wind deflector on it. <laughs> the middle one, I don't think you need a wind deflector. You could just do like, yeah, the painted walls for the middle ones. Uh, let's take a look what else we have. We have lots of lights. Ooh, each one has a separate one now. I'll have to check back into Euro Truck Simulator and see if they've done this for that, too. Like, before, when you picked it, it would give you the same thing for every single trailer. But now it looks like you can customize each trailer separately. One thing that you do see, and you can see here, I've got this on this longer trailer. Um... We have this long side skirt. Now, we do see these in the States. Um, usually painted, you, can, you do see these. And you, can, you need to do it on both sides. Once again, these, these trailers are not necessarily symmetrical. So um, you need to do both sides, which is kind of cool, though, that they let you do that. Uh, but you can see here that the um, we do see those for aerodynamic purposes. And these aero side skirts, I just screwed up. There we go. Aha. Uh, I've never seen one like that before. We do have aero side skirts that lean in a little bit. I don't know. I've never seen one that looks like the bow of a boat, but that's pretty funny looking. <laughs> I'm sure that it's a cool idea, and it probably gives you really good aerodynamic support, but uh, I have seen trailers like this with the lower side skirts. So I just wanted to put that in there. Um, so we do see that occasionally. So once again, this is not released yet. I want to make that clear. We are in beta. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you how to do it because I had a viewer this morning, um, who unfortunately, and I, he did it on his own. It wasn't something that I encouraged, but he went in and, um, tried to back up his profiles and ended up blowing up his account. And it made me kind of feel sick to my stomach. Like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't inspire that. Um, because you know, I don't, I feel, I felt really bad. I was like, dude, that, you know, losing your. That just sucks. I mean, it just sucks. So, um, yeah, I feel really bad about it. So, anyway, um, I I don't know, you know, I know how to do it for myself. But I definitely would be leery giving you advice on how to do this. And if it blows up, I don't want to be responsible for it. So, um, just read about it online. Someone out there will tell you how to do it. I'm not going to be that bad about it. But you can you can do it through Steam. Through your betas tab, you can select the betas, and then it'll it'll uh, allow you to do it. But just be warned, and that let that be a lesson to you. Uh, you can blow your life up doing it that way. So, um, oh, these are cool. We can roll up doors, standard doors. Oh, I'm doing chrome on the back. Yeah. What else we got? Long load, long load. Sweet. <laughs> you got two different styles of trailer. Um, but anyway, you, yeah, so just be careful and be aware that you might blow your, you might blow your profile up and wouldn't that be an awful, awful thing? Um, so just be aware that you could blow yourself up and, and not, and lose all your stuff. And that would really be sad. So, um, use at your own risk. Once again, I'm using a profile that I haven't used in a long time. My controls are probably going to be all screwed up, so I won't be able to drive very well, but let's go ahead and try it anyway. So there is my trailer all configured up the way I want it. And uh, you can see there's a lot of options available. Um, and it looks really good with my truck mixed in. And so let's go ahead. Ooh, look at, we got a pan. Oh, camera reset. Okay. Oh, that's cool that they added that in. That's new too. And with the lights on, it looks really good. <laughs> let's go to the See what is that full screen preview? <gasps> Look at that! <laughs> that is, oh, what a gorgeous truck! So anyway, let's go ahead and take this for. We're gonna go ahead and buy this and take it for a ride. Um, so we're gonna confirm this, and this will show up here in our configuration. And we can purchase a bunch of them or purchase one of them now. This is exorbitantly expensive because it's you know. A three trailer setup and it can take chilled goods. Oh my gosh. 
And where are we? Where are we? Please select a garage to continue. I'm trying to select a garage. Okay, so I'll go, I guess. Oh, there's only certain places. It can only be in using Nevada. Oh, so this, let's see, where do you want to start? This garage in Nevada or Oregon? Oregon, what? Oh, there's nothing there yet, but it's on the map. Look at that. Uh, so apparently the triple train may not be able to go to other places. So that, oh, there's a limiting factor right there for our triple. Uh, so let's do this. Um, do you really want to buy? No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to buy it. Okay, so lesson learned. Triples only work in those two states. Okay, well, that's kind of more like Euro Truck Simulator and probably real life. Because like I said, you don't, we really don't see these very often. So we're going to have to make a change. We'll take, uh, it's going to blow the whole thing up. Ugh. Double crap. <laughs> After all my work. Daddy. What, Violet? You said quap. I did say quap, because this is quaptastic. Oh, it kept the paint job. Yay. Okay. So let's go ahead and confirm. And we're going to go ahead and wait. Did it keep my other changes too? I want to look at my wheels. No. Yes, it did. Okay. So everything's the same except, yeah, except for two trailers now. So. So let's go ahead and purchase this. And now we should be able to put it into our garage. There we go. So doubles are it, my friends. Don't buy triples unless you want to get stuck in one state. Um, yes. All right. And for poops and giggles, we can buy another. We'll just buy this too. Double flatbed. You can put, as far as I can tell, there's not a limit on trailers per garage. Um, you can have as many as you want. Uh, as long as the trailer is stored in a garage, the drivers that work from that garage will uh, actually use the trailer. So let's go to the, the hold the hole, hole. Trailer manager. Um, you can see here our two trailers are located in San Francisco. They have a utilization of 0%. If I click on the trailer, I can see exactly what the trailer is, and I can make private. And that means that only I can use it. If I have it public, the uh, other drivers will pick up this trailer and use. And then I can click use it. And this will be spawned into my San Francisco garage, and um, it's on duty. Now, it probably will be connected to my truck, but if I was not connected to it, um, I would actually have to drive and connect to it. So um, you can configure it from here. You can sell it. You can relocate the trailer to a different garage. Um, so it gives you the same options as basically a semi-truck. So let's go ahead and hop in there and see what we got. All right, let's see how this if this all worked. So far, so good. My buttons are set up the way that I like them. We don't need to stop the engine. We're trying to find our trailers. Supposedly, they're here at the garage. They said they're going to be here in San Francisco. Oh, there's a truck parked there. That's pretty cool. Where the heck? There they are. They were around back. There's the Chapman Company trailers. Sweet cheeks. All right. Ready for ready for work, ready for business. So, I guess Nevada allows triple trailer trains. We I don't I know we had them in Ohio for a while. I don't know if they're still allowed. I don't ever go on the turnpike. I hate driving on the turnpike. It's so boring. So I almost always avoid the turnpike if necessary. All right, so let's see here. We got the trailers on. Now let's see what kind of work we can dig up. It is San Francisco, by the way, so there is a lot of rain. Um, let's take a look here and see if we can't find a job. Um, so we're going to do escape. Now one thing that's going to be different, you're going to notice that the... Job market now has a new cargo market, and that is where we go to um, pick our cargo. Uh, we're going to pick one that's going to be in the area. We have, let's see, price per distance. I want price per distance, yeah. So our best paying job right now is a really long job to Sirocco. We're not going to go for best paying. We're going to go for shortest. Um, is there a city to city one? No. So we're going to take Yoghurt. 
Is that really how you spell yogurt? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> it, looks, it looks a little weird. For fun, we're going to take yogurt. I'm not going to film the whole trip. I'm just going to do the end so you guys can see the unloading and loading process. Uh, but uh, here we go. So... So let's go ahead and get over to the facility to pick up our goods. All right, we're coming up to the trailer depot here on the left. Ooh, my truck kind of matches that bus. <laughs> oh, I'm going to drive off the road. Got to pay attention, Artie. Oh, no. Is this the place I think it is? This is like the really hard place to get into. They've definitely changed San Francisco a bit. I feel like this is much larger than it used to be. Ooh, my brakes are a little oversensitive. <laughs> Once again, new profile, different settings that I'm used to. <laughs> Look, there's somebody driving around on a Polaris. <laughs> me, me. Yeah, I'm cutting you off. Get out of my way. I'm in a hurry. I'm making a video. Yep, it is the place I thought it was. I'm turning off here to the place I love. Okay, so cargo market. And we're going to take... Where did we say we were going to go? Reno. This actually would be a pretty drive to Reno. Mm. <laughs> Make a little bit more money, too. Oh, let's just do it. <laughs> it's like 20 miles more. Let's see. Your cargo is ready to load. Proceed to the loading area. So go ahead and we're going to proceed. So unlike, you know, the regular mode where you pick up the trailers yourself, we are already picked up because they're on the back of my truck. Oh, Lord. How am I going to get out of here, though? That's the question. Oh, my. This is going to be difficult. I'll have to try, try to back straight out the way we came in. I've never done it before with the double, so I don't know how this works. Uh, this is not looking promising. <laughs> They're going to have to work on that part because this is going to be really difficult if you got to back these trailers. Really? Does that back trailer have to be in there? Is that what the deal is? Mm. Okay, so now they're going to load the trailer. Oh, there's a heart. There's a heart on my face. They loaded the truck going the right direction. So we don't have to worry about it. We are just ready to go. It takes an hour to load. I wanted you to see that. And the truck is ready to go. My colors do not match. <laughs> the blue on my truck is different than the blue on my trailer. We're going to have to fix that. But not today. All right, so I'm going to... You can see here, that's really... Really something, actually. It's pretty, qu it's pretty cool looking. <laughs> I'm loving it. Already... What do you guys think? I think this is going to be really cool. I'm super excited for this to come into the game. Once again, this is beta, so it is not finalized. I know I've had people asking me also on the other video that I made for Euro Truck Simulator, where is it? How come I don't have this? It's not out yet. It's a beta. When's it coming out? I have no idea. Whenever they're done. <laughs> Once again, if it's in beta, that means they're working on it. it there's no, there's no uh, guaranteed release date. Um, there's no, you know, promised like, hey, it's going to be out on this date. We don't know. Whenever they're finished working on it and they feel like it's available for the game and not buggy, uh, they will, you know, release it to us. So be patient. And when it's time, it will arrive. If you build it, they will come. All right, so we are going to take a uh, little tr truck trip up to Reno. Um... I'll, try, you, I'll hop in here and there, but I'm going to drive it just by myself. That way you guys don't have to just watch me driving for half an hour. 
because the whole point's about the trailers, not about how the game works. So, anyway, uh, I am going to go ahead and continue my trip uh, up north, and I'll pick you up as we get close to the depot there. If there's anything cool on the way, I'll I'll mention it. But other than that, I think we're just back to normal gameplay as usual. So, see you in a couple. See, I knew that I would think about something. And this is why I told you I'd join you here and there through the trip. Um, one thing that this is going to change about gameplay is that, like, I'm thinking about this. I'm using this truck with a 10-speed gearbox. And you know what? I'm just fine. So you could do a 10 or 12-speed gearbox. Um, I think in real life they're they're 10. I, I don't know. that Or 13. Uh, I have to look at the... the Again, but 10 speeds are actually pretty common with semi trucks. Um, and so, what this will mean is you're, you're, you're one of the reasons why you get an 18 speed in this game is because you know that any day you could possibly be handling a heavy haul and you need those extra gears when you're dealing with those heavy weights. But if you know for a fact that hey, I'm going to be using the doubles uh, and that's all I'm ever going to use. You don't really have to have as many speeds because you know that the truck is capable of handling the cargo, um, you know, that you're pulling. Now, if you're doing a triple train, you might want to have those extra gears. But uh, for the, you know, for this, uh, like, double or even a single trailer, like, if you go out and buy a single trailer for your company and that's what you're using, you know every day what you're going to be pulling as far as, like, weights. Now, some of the cargoes are going to weigh more than others, but you're still, you know, a, a little bit more homogenized, you know, pulling a trailer full of, you know, bottled beverage is most likely not going to be nearly as heavy as pulling a giant, you know, uh, construction mill. So you could purpose build your truck for a box trailer. And that means you could probably do less horsepower, less gears, uh, save some money and just pull loads that match your trailer. So that's one thing to think about as a company manager and something that could change a little bit in the game. Um, I think it's pretty, uh, I think that's going to be a pretty neat thing to be able to do um, those type of things. So like this truck is definitely a purpose built. There's no bed. So we definitely have to use, uh, it's a day truck. So you'd have to stop at hotels or, you know, stay at your garages. Um, it's a short trip truck. So that's kind of, you know, that, that's something that you could purpose build. You could make a trip that, hey, I'm making a day cab. I'm just going to drive during the day and uh, doing short trips, you know, and that's something that you could decide and set up your company with your trailer to be that way. So I think that's, anyway, I, I'm not, you can do whatever you want, but I, I think it's kind of neat. You can, a little bit, it gives us a little bit more option to role play in the game. Like, hey, this is all we pull. This is the type of truck we're using to pull it. In the old version of, of uh, it wasn't called American Truck Simulator. It was like 18 wheels of steel hard truck same company though um you could actually set up contracts for your drivers i hope they come up with that kind of system so like Wahlberg, you could you could take Wahlberg and assign one two three or four or five drivers to Wahlberg and give them um let, let's say they have we always need egg shipped you know so you could pick eggs and you could you'd have to pick a refrigerated trailer for that driver and so you'd buy the, the, the refrigerated trailer and you'd buy the, the semi truck and hire the driver and then you would assign them to Wahlberg to deliver eggs. So every day that truck driver is always delivering eggs for Wahlberg. It was kind of cool. And they, they took that out um, with this version of the game and with ETS too that they, they scrapped that. But it was in, I think, 18 Wheels of Steel Hard Truck. And it might have also been in um, Heavy Haul. Which was which was the name of the game it was eighteen it was called like heavy was, or pedal to the metal that's what it was, uh, so I don't know if they'll they'll do that again but here's where the the gearing is going to be a problem. Should probably put my hazards on anyway. So I will see you guys when we get up there. We're getting closer to our destination already. This is a short trip, so I'll be back. I forgot they added Caltrain in. Look at that. That's really cool. I love the way we're running alongside it. I don't. I just love this game has gotten <laughs> it just keeps getting better and ETS too also uh, there's just I was driving an ETS 2 the other day and I went through some parts of France I've never been through before and I was like man this is just beautiful like they what a fun game I, I wish that simulators you know were more popular on YouTube and stuff but this is just 
I love these. It's a great time to be alive if you're a simulator player. There's just so many great simulator games out there, especially for trucking and airplanes. And you know, Train Sim World is amazing. You have to have a good computer, but it's that you know, it is amazing. Now, here's a problem with the 10-speed gearbox. Speed limit's 80. I'm going 65, and I'm over 1500 RPM. So I'm actually pushing the truck a little too hard. We need to be back down under that that uh, torque. I mean, you can be a little bit over, but it's still not good for the truck. So about 60 miles an hour is top speed for this truck. Uh, <laughs> we need a longer gearbox. Okay, so anyway, uh, I will catch up when I get to the uh, station. We're almost there. We are uh, through the mountains of California, the Sierra Nevadas, and we are coming into our uh, destination. So I will catch up with you once we get there. Uh, where do we put this thing? Okay, good. We don't have to. This is still going to be a pain in the butt to deliver. I don't want to skip the parking though. I want the exciting part. I don't know that we'll be able to do this. No, we made it. Look, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get into the. We may have to skip because I don't know that we'll be able to get that trailer in. This one's really hard to deliver too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we missed the bonus, but it's okay. It's only like 12 points, so 10,000, and we go to level 30. Sweet. Uh, all right, so um, now this is a new feature. You can click on current job offers from this company. Oh, it went up a skill. All right, fuel economy. I always do just in time last because I hate it. Uh, there are currently no uh, um, jobs available. That sucks from this location. So sometimes you'll have a job going back or going another direction from this from your delivery point, and that allows you just to get it real quick. But um, since we don't have that, we can still go to Reno. We are in Reno. Oh no, no cargo. So this is going to be another problem that you're going to run into with you, both you and your drivers. You might get into a situation where that city offers no jobs. So the nearest one's Carson City. No jobs there. What? Okay, I was going to say this not that's not possible. Oh man. So Winnemucca is the closest place so you have you're going to have to do some driving with empty trailers. Ooh, that's kind of though realistic, you know? You're not making any money, you're losing money on that trip. <laughs> and such is the life. So you're going to have to kind of learn where the different markets are for what you deliver. Um that's interesting. Oh, so there's no none of these nearby cities. You have to go to Tonopa or Winnemucca to get stuff to deliver. Wow. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's a cool new feature. Um, so I guess the last thing we need to do is we need to head over to a repair shop so you guys can see what it's like. And that's they flipped us around again, so that's good. How do they deal with the trailers? They really fit it in there, though. Wow. I don't even know if I would do doubles. I think if I was to do the game, I'd probably do a dry goods trailer. Um, so we can carry a lot of different stuff and then just do a single like 40, 40 foot trailer because the 53 ones are hard to, to fit in different places. I, I almost feel like so here uh, in under service. We have both truck and trailer service. We have pretty much negligible repair. I wouldn't even do it because we're so low. It's all zero percent. The wheels are one percent on my truck, but everything is still in really good shape, so I wouldn't changing that but you can see here that the damage report now includes both the truck and the trailer and so you're gonna have some money to do to repair we have 280 truck damage and 42 dollars in trailer damage just from that trip didn't have any crashes or anything so there's just wear and tear that you're gonna have to pay i would wait till that bill gets a little bit higher honestly um because you don't you don't want to use up your insurance the insurance does go away after a while so oops wrong button and then we can also go back in again and configure configurate our trailers I think I'm just going to go for a single. And we get we get $33,000 back for doing this. This is the worst way to do it, but let's see, dry van, insulated. And so we can just do all kinds of different stuff here. But anyway, that is the idea. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, it's helpful information. Like I said, I don't know, you know, when this is coming out. And it's beta only, but it will be in the game. And I think this is going to really add a cool role-playing element to the game, just like I said with ETS2. Uh, this is some cool stuff. So I'm excited about you know what's, what's coming and how this is going to pan out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. 
Be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys next time on American Truck Simulator. Don't forget to join my stream. It's V Blue Guitar. That is Victor Bravo Lima Uniform, and then the word guitar, all one word. So V Blue Guitar. Uh, there's no E <laughs> on the blue. Sorry, it's because I couldn't get it. Um, and uh, that is my Twitch username. So if you get on there and subscribe to my my Twitch channel, uh, I play this game probably once every two weeks. We do a, a run. Uh, you can see me live there doing this and Farm Sim and World of Warships and My Summer Car and a whole bunch of other games on Twitch. Uh, so anyway, hope to see you there. Have a great night, guys, and we will see you next time on American Truck Simulator. Bye.